Unusual movements continue to be detected in North Korea, this time at the Shinpo South Shipyard, where a submarine used for ballistic missile launches is housed. Experts believe the regime could be securing technology and parts needed for missile development from China and Russia in order to get around international sanctions. Kim Dami provides a deeper analysis. New satellite imagery of North Korea's Shinpo South Shipyard shows what some have called unusual movement by the regime's experimental ballistic missile submarine, which could indicate the possible test firing of an SLBM in the near future. According to Beyond Peril, a U.S.-based think tank on Wednesday, the A-24 Yangung experimental ballistic missile submarine was seen being moved from under a canopy that usually covers it. The North used the submarine to test fire an SLBM in October last year. Beyond Peril added that the exact reason behind moving the submarine is unknown, but it's likely related to ongoing modifications, repair work, and preparations for an SLBM test. John Sano, former deputy director for National Clandestine Service at CIA, also said Wednesday that North Korea appears to have constructed a new building in Pungeri and is able to resume nuclear tests. Sano noted that the North's nuclear facility in Yangbyon, the site where Pyongyang produces plutonium and enriched uranium for nuclear bombs, seems to be back in a full operation as well. He further warned that the regime could own at least 200 nuclear weapons by the year 2027. In the meantime, a North Korea expert argues that the regime is procuring technology and parts necessary for missile development from China and Russia to avoid international sanctions against the regime. Former U.S. National Intelligence Officer for North Korea Marcus Kaloskos pointed out during a discussion held by the CSIS on Wednesday that he believes that China in particular is helping the North to evade international sanctions. Kim Dami, Arirang News.